with that. Is everybody else yeah. okay with that? I'm okay with that. I'd like to go back to one, two. Okay. Um, in D, line 32, where you have every person, individual, firm, partnership, association, organization, local or state agency, and at all, at all, ad nauseum. Uh, couldn't you just say this program should apply to every application for development or use on any shoreline that Jefferson County has jurisdiction over? Rather than listing. Because that would, Certainly, I think you that could. would cover everybody. It would be far simpler. Sure, yeah. I, I think uh, the intent was just to provide clarity to make sure that no one thought they were. Uh, you know, exempt from the program other than what's identified through the RCW well, see the federal and tribal. A list like that gives a person the opportunity to find the little spot where you can squeak in and say, oh, I'm not on this list. If I. I think Article 1 is primarily quite similar to existing, but it's... <coughs> Well, and you go back to the JCC Title 18, so this is 1825, so that's kind of in the middle. You go to 1805, you know, applicability there that is very similar. So about this thing applies to hereafter, nobody shall erect, demolish, uh, build, construct, repair, demolish, you know, just on and on and on. Um, that's a SARS? Yeah, it's, it's repetitive. It seems to me like the program applies to applications more than individuals. Well, that people have to comply even if they don't need to apply for a building permit or any changes. That they still have to comply with it, but all the things that are exempt. Right. This wouldn't uh, don't meet a threshold. So. Correct, and that's some of the yeah. reason to call out individuals. It's it's uses, both shoreline uses and um, development. So it, as you stated, when, right. even when there's no development permit required, all uses and actions still need to be compliant with the program. So number one is it applies to all lands and waters. And then number two, look at it in reverse. What then, what does it not apply to? It gives you key there. So any island federal lands, it does not apply to the military. Okay. Yeah. Those government-owned properties, like down in Coyle, there's some government-owned properties. It would not apply to those parcels. So you'd still have to make a list. Yeah. <laughs> it would be the reverse list. <laughs> No, it's, and that's how and whatever you're, you're comfortable with. I'm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. kind of inclined to keep it the way it is, I guess. Okay, okay anything on pages one, two, or three? One on page four? I read it. It's 
review that letter? Is there any concerns about it conflicting? 